For me, it's easy to relate to smart and in innovative cities when you have one of the finest universities of technology in your city. There's some fans also, very good. So for me, it's easy to relate to what the university does, what students do, and what scientists do. And after many years of practice, it's my key message that I want to bring here today that cities and countries ensure Europe must make ways to make better use of high educated people in science. Bring high educated people on spots in the society, bring products of science faster and deeper in society and the market sector. And the reason is that if you look at the global competition and the way the world is going, Europe has to seek for a position that there is still something to say and to do. Because we know that knowledge-driven economy is probably the best type of economy that we can thrive on in a globalizing economy. And then if you look at the future, we know that in one generation, only 6% of the world population will be in Europe. So if we want to leave something for our children and grandchildren, we must act now. And I think that knowledge-driven economy is a key economy to get this position. And where is this done? Where is this originated? It's for a large part done in cities with universities. And that makes my city a very important one. And I have a mission as a mayor to be a good host for students, to become grown up, responsible academics. And it's my duty to be a good host to all these institutions I have that they can work and produce for a better world. Because sometimes I believe that science and technology offer better and faster solutions than the legal systems and the democratic systems as we know it. It's a faster driver and it's um, better implemented. So what I do in my city is work together with the university as a great player in my city. Uh, they own 25% of the land. I have 15% of the students of my population. So they have a great impact. 